But anyway, you're watching Up and Pumps, Cooking Up and Pumps with Mr. Robert DeMarco. Um, if this is your first time tuning in, hey, boo, thank you for coming and checking me out. I'm crazy than a motherfucker. So if you know, you know, if that's what you into, go right on down there and subscribe to this channel because this is what we do over here. And like this and then tell people about it and all of that. If you have been pumping with me since the Alfredo Potato video, hey, boos. Hey, welcome in the new people, and y'all just embrace them, love them, or whatever. Um, we got another show for y'all today. So, it's a quick show. Um, nothing extravagant. You guys can see a motherfucking green tomato in my um, hand and a knife. So, we already kind of got a... a, 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 a kind of got some shit. So, we already understanding about what's going on today. But before we do that, I always like to introduce my supporting cast. And so if you guys follow me on social media, then you would have seen a little snippet of um, my supporting cast. She's, she's, she's nice, you know, she's, she's very colorful and everything. And, you know, for those of you who are new, we always have a supporting cast on the show. The show is called Up and Pumps with Robert DeMarco. Now, while it may be my motherfucking show, there's always a badass or a cute or an ugly ass. Let's just be clear. Let's be fair. Pump on this show. So let me go ahead and show you her. There she is. There she go. She is um, a color blocked pop. So we got the fuchsia or the pink and some the yellow, the blue, the cobalt blue kind of matches my shirt. I did that. You know, see how I did that? Y'all see how I did that? Oh, I had to get so, You know what? This show, uh, this shoe, um, come and think about it, I feel like a hoe in it. Uh, uh, just, I just feel like a hoe in this shoe because you can hold shit. I'm a hoe. show you how I make my fried green tomatoes. This is a very, very easy dish. So please don't be um, intimidated when a motherfucker tell you that they made some fried green tomatoes because it don't take all of that. As Robert DeMarco always says, it don't take all of that. And that goes for this shit and other things in life. You understand that? Okay. So green to fried green tomatoes we're going to do today. I'm going to show you how I make mine. They're Like I said, they're pretty easy, um, but they are so fucking good. I mean... My mother used to make it for me when I was a kid, and oh my god, oof, but, mm-hmm. Y'all ever seen that movie, Fried Green Tomatoes? 
like my grandmother kind of re re makes reference to the green tomatoes that are in that movie where they were kind of thick and when she was eating them it was just looking so good yeah i try to make mine similar to that i don't like no thin ass paper thin green tomato because then you're just eating batter or whatever that is i'm going to show you a nice size crispy and oh just good motherfucking fried green tomato okay all right so um for your ingredients you will need you know depending on how many people you are feeding um you will, will determine how many tomatoes you need um i'm only gonna uh be making about these four today not about these four i got motherfucking four in my hand that's what i'm making i'm making four um, and I will be slicing these, but you again make as many as you feel like you need. Um, so green tomatoes is what you will need. You will need some cooking oil, which I have on the stove already heating up on a medium high heat. Um, you'll need two bowls or two plates because one will be for your wet mixture. The other will be for your dry mixture. Um, just plain salt and pepper. And the reason why we're not doing my usual seasoning salt black pepper, garlic salt, and onion powder is because I am going to be using a seasoned fish fry uh, bat or batter or breading, if you will. Um, it's cornmeal seasoned and all that. That's all the fuck it is. Cornmeal seasoned with some other seasons that I like. Um, but we will be seasoning our wet mixture um, with the salt and pepper very lightly. And speaking of our wet mixture, our wet mixture is just two motherfucking eggs. So we're going to uh, go ahead and use just two eggs out of here. And we're going to be seasoning this and we'll be making these goddamn things. So, first things first, I'm going to show you how thick you should probably do your tomato. Now, I know people who, who I don't like a lot of people who say they don't like their meat thick. Um, people who say that they don't like a lot of thick, chunky vegetables in their stuff, but um, you don't do that to no motherfucking fried meat. You enjoy and savor this shit. I had to wait till they brought a goddamn farmer's market to my job to find some fried green tomatoes because this stank ass Walmart that I hate don't carry these types of things, okay? So when you get them, you make them and you do them well. So I'm going to go ahead and, of course, cut off the bottom parts. We don't need that. And these will be, I love to cut these. You know how sometimes regular tomatoes are so soft that they start to fall apart and the insides start coming out and shit. These are firm, so they hold up well um, when you cut them. So I'm going to go ahead and cut one and show you what the thickness is that I'm speaking of. So it's about a half of an inch thick because this is going to soften up. And just be so. Mm, 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 mm. So go ahead and slice up your tomato. Now, these are mine. I know I just gave a whole damn diatribe about thickness of um, meat and stuff like that. But if you like them thin or you just want to have more batter than tomato, then by all means, honey, go ahead and cut them real, real thin, okay? Um, they still will fry up pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice the, I'm gonna slice this one for you all. And out of this, out of that one tomato, I got about five good, decent slices, okay? Okay, so that, and that can kind of tell you how many you need to make if you're making them for a lot of motherfuckers. Um, in my two containers, I'm going to go ahead and just pour some of this, again, Louisiana fish fry seasoning into this one. And then I'm going to take my two eggs and put them in the other one. eggs. Ooh, where's the camera at, bitch? There we go. These two 
legs. Just go ahead and season them just a little bit, just like that, not a whole lot. Take your goddamn pepper, season it like that. Then you take you a nice little fork and scramble these lightly. You don't, you don't have to beat the ass, it's that damn good. Just go ahead and, ooh. come on now. Ooh. Go ahead and scramble these up lightly. Kind of get that seasoning worked up through there. And you're basically just getting it broke apart. And just scramble it up real lightly. And that's that. Okay? Now my grease. Hey, somebody on me on my hit me on my iPad. Oh, that's just that. Everybody be playing pool on Facebook and stuff. That's the pool game that I don't play. Give me motherfucking notification. Anyway. So we take this tomato and, or this slice of tomato. Wait a minute, let me check my grease. That's all I need to cut it down just a little bit. Now mind you, you can adjust your temperature as you need to, but it's sounding a little like that it's ready. So anyway, we're gonna take this tomato slice and we're gonna dip it in our wet mixture first. Make sure it's fully coated. And you want to move kind of quickly because you know how eggs slide off the shit. So you want to make sure you dip it in here and then move quickly over here. And make sure that it's fully coated on the edges and on the sides. We don't like to have situations where um, you got a piece of tomato that just don't have no fucking batter on it. Okay? And so once it's done, it should look like that. Completely covered. Okay? Completely covered. I'm going to go ahead and drop that in the grease. Let that cook up. Like so. And then we'll go ahead and go and finish dredging these in here. Told you this shit is easy. It ain't that hard. But you want to make sure you put the right shit together. How in the, in the right way. And use this goddamn fish fry. Now you can use regular cornmeal. If you say, ooh, I don't like that, I don't like, I don't like that, you use some motherfucking regular cornmeal then. Or, I know people who do use flour, I just like the crisp of the, of the meal. I like a good meal. Okay? Um, or you can use the stuff I use when I fry my, um, sometimes I use for frying chicken, or my ribs is um, Kentucky Colonel. You know, another seasoned flour, it's not more like, more like a meal, so... But like I said, I like meal. So we're just going ahead on the our tomatoes that up. in the grease. Now you're going to let those cook for about uh, five to seven minutes or until they're brown. I don't know if you have your, high, your heat higher or whatever. You cook them until they're a nice, pretty golden brown. You don't want the motherfuckers black. Unless you, if you do, then you eat that shit. But golden brown. Um, I try to use tongs. Oh, this is goddamn tongs to get them out or to uh, move them around, but if I can't get into my goddamn drawer or what have you, then I don't worry about that. Go ahead and flip them over. Once you see that them, they're getting brown pretty much around the edges or throughout. Again, five to seven minutes tops is what it's going to take for these. They don't take that long. I mean, I might as well get my goddamn paper towel ready for them. Oh shit, I'm about to slip and fall and shit. And these goddamn whole heels. Get my paper towel out ready so it can gather up some of that uh, excess grease. This one ready to come out. This is the first one that I put in, ready to come out of all ready. Accordingly, and then it's kind of like chicken. You'll hear it uh, stop sizzling as much. that one that's left over in there they gotta you know you know I hate that shit that last 
piece of chicken or that last motherfucking pork chop that be like, bitch, I'm going to wait before I get brown. I'm going to wait and sit here and I'm going to stew in this motherfucking shit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait till I get brown. And the bitch be in there. And I'll be like, well, I'm ready to eat. And that last one be in there until the motherfucker be burnt up. But I'm not going to do that today. Okay? So it's pretty much done. Go ahead and turn my heat off. Now. Well, that's pretty. And she came out pretty when I was going to let the bitch burn out. Okay? But anyway, so. I'm going to go ahead and get these plated up. Go ahead and give me one. Show y'all. Look at these motherfucking. Look at those. Oh, they hot. I can't pick them up, but look at that. They crispy. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, they hot. Oh. Those are some motherfucking fried red tomatoes there. Okay, so I got the hot sauce, but I want to taste it without the hot sauce because I like to taste my seasoning and things. But this bitch is hot, so please pray for me, okay? Be careful when you eat them. Let me see. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I'm going to be smacking, but this bitch is hot. Look at that. I don't know if y'all can see the smoke coming off of it, but look at how thick and pretty. Mmm. Oh, and got that. Mm. Mm. Got that crunchiness. That tart from the fucking tomato. You got like a tart thing. Oh, God. And the seasoning that I put on that egg and then that, um, that's in that seat, in that, what you call it? Mmm. Mmm.